an ounce. The True Heroics of G.I. Joe, an astonishing story of a flighty bird brain. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. There is a remarkable icon in the collective consciousness of America. The all-American soldier who is brave, patriotic, strong, and relentless against all odds is the outstanding character G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, what a man. What an action figure to fuel the imaginations of little kids. Here is the unlikely story of G.I. Joe, the true hero, whose courage and daring on the battlefield during the battles of World War II is truly worthy of the legendary reputation. G.I. Joe became a highly decorated member of the U.S. Army for service during the Italian campaign. Here's what happened. In October 1943, during the fighting around the village of Calvi Vecchia, British infantry were fighting to dislodge German forces from the village. Allied air forces were requested to bomb the town to assist the British and liberate the town. Everything was going to plan, sort of, as the Brits' 56th London Infantry Division took Calvi Vecchia well ahead of schedule. Unfortunately, they liberated the town just before the U.S. had launched a planned bombing campaign to clear the way for them, which meant American bombs were going to rain down on British soldiers and the residents of Calvi Vecchia. But no worries, right? Just call the Yanks at the airbase on the radio, 20 miles away, and cancel the bombing raid. Except the radio wasn't getting through. The message was not being received at the airfield, and the lives of hundreds of soldiers and civilians were at great risk. Enter G.I. Joe, a young and ready message courier with the United States Army Signal Corps. The field commanders placed the vital message into the care of G.I. Joe, and he somehow was able to carry this message to stop the American bombers over nearly impossible terrain at unheard of speed and without getting lost. Joe covered 20 miles of difficult ground in just 20 minutes. The bombers were lining up and preparing to take flight when G.I. Joe arrived with the critical information, delivering it without a second to spare. The bombing mission was halted, saving hundreds of lives. 20 miles in 20 minutes through uneven brush rocks and crags, an absolutely unbelievable feat, and many would rightly claim it was impossible for any man to accomplish such a task, and <laughs> they'd be right. You see, G.I. Joe was not a man, or even a human. He was, in fact, a homing pigeon, and a very fast one at that. G.I. Joe was born in the spring of 1943 in Algeria and designated Pigeon USA 43 SC 6390. G.I. Joe continued to serve to the end of the war and was highly decorated for his service to the U.S. and the British. That 20-mile flight from Calvi Vecchia to the American Air Base was lauded as the most impressive flight of the war. The hero Pigeon passed at the ripe old age of 18 at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. So, here's the ounce. Pigeons have been used to carry messages for centuries during peacetime and war. For sending and receiving messages, they are well proven, reliable, and inexpensive. And compared to the electronic systems that seem to have replaced them, they might be a bit slower, okay, lots slower, but quite simple. For now, the U.S. military has stopped using pigeons. But if it ever comes to an all-out war, I'm betting pigeons won't be wiped out by an electromagnetic pulse. <laughs> Maybe some of the old ideas are worth remembering. And that's it. An ounce. Submit it for your consideration. <laughs>